Thread tension is something you need to constantly be aware of. It is something that, that is probably the biggest worry ab about machine quilting, the thing that you really need to pay close attention to at all times because it can change as, as, as you work on a quilt. It can change as the spool has less thread on it. Your tension will change a little bit because there's less weight on the spool. So the most tiniest things can change your thread tension. So you need to be checking it periodically while you're machine quilting. Now this is a good example. This is one of my practice sandwiches. I keep it next to my machine and when I start a new project or I'm using a new combination of threads, I get this out, I put it in the machine and I test things out to make sure that everything's good before I work on my actual project. So right here is a really nice example of really tight, too tight top tension. Now when your top tension is too tight, you want to lower the number. The higher the number, the tighter the tension. The lower the number, the lower the tension, the, the looser the tension. So this is a place where the tension is just a little too tight and I recommend that you don't spin this dial. You need to move it a half a number at a time and test it out a half a number at a time, test it out until it's just right. And so in that case we're just lowering the number just a little bit at a time and testing again. I have a spot on the back of this quilt this little sandwich here that really shows some really horrible tension problems in the bobbin. And this means that my top tension is way too loose and it needs a very large adjustment. And so in that case I want to make this number on the tension dial bigger. So I want to go to a larger number. I'd probably try a whole number if it's this bad at a time, test it, and then go back to smaller adjustments until it's just right. So that is where you really need to pay attention to what's going on with your machine. If you're not familiar with your tension dial in your machine, get your book out and get yourself familiar with it because it's a very important part of machine quilting. You need to be really, really confident about that. Another thing that can help your tension problems is a thread stand like this. This really has solved a lot of problems for me. Some thread comes on very large cones and it is just not good to have this cone on a, on a machine like this. It, the, the thread guide does not really hold it up straight and so it's going to wobble around. It's going to make your tension change as it goes. If you put it on this thread stand, put it through the hole up here, and I've put a rubber band on here for a reason to keep the thread in this part of the thread stand, and then thread that from there into your thread guides of your machine, it's very even tension and it's, it's much more smooth and easy to control. Now something I've learned just by chance was with metallic thread. I was using it one day and it, it kept breaking and I was doing all everything else right and I couldn't figure it out and so I would sew a little bit and see what my thread was doing and sew a little bit and see what my thread was doing and I saw that it was twisting and I had it on this thread guide like this and it was coming up and it was still twisting. So when I laid it down on the bottom of my thread stand and then threaded it through here and onto my machine, it came off perfectly flat and through my machine and I had no more tension problems. So it's little things like that you need to be ready to experiment and kind of troubleshoot and always be ready to, to see what, what can I do to make this better. In some classes that I've taught, I've seen students who have machines where we couldn't quite get the tension completely balanced and you could still see the dots on the back and the dots on the top of the quilt and so in that case I would recommend that they always use a busy back to camouflage those little tension problems that just can't be cleared up with adjustment on the machine.